going guys? It's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video and this is going to be a vlog actually of me going to Hong Kong and um, just a recap on the last I guess two years of my life and what I've been working on. Uh, I've been working on a clothing brand with a friend of mine uh, from Hong Kong. He's also actually originally from Sydney but he moved to Hong Kong for business and it is a golf wear brand However, you know, we're thinking about expanding this further in the future into a lifestyle brand. And the brand is called Hazard Hunters. And Hazard Hunters is a brand about, from my perspective and why it's named Hazard Hunters, is when you, you know, encounter things in life, you are taking risks in order to achieve, well, not only greatness, but towards winning, right? So you take risks in order to win. And that goes for a lot of things. And the the application of that ethos can extend to anything like when you skateboard when you a mountain bike when you in competitive gaming you always take risks in order to win right and my specialty within business and within businesses that i've been like i've been in in the past has been the branding marketing side and creating a image optically that is ingrained within anybody who interacts with us so then they can remember us right so it's a lot of visual communication and being able to communicate ideas, not only visually, but also um, through messaging as well. And what I'm doing in Hong Kong this time is something extremely special. Me and Berg, we're actually launching a pop-up store in Landmark in central Hong Kong. And that is going to be held for around 10 days. It's been something that we've been um, planning for for a long time. But we only got the confirmation to go ahead with it a month ago. So we've only been working on it for a month, planning the actual interior design, the all, all the logistics of it has all been done, compressed within a month. So um, all the artworks, the actual feature in the middle with the, um, we have a fiberglass tree and a golf putting green feature. And also the other aspects of the store, which are going to be, um, fitted out to represent us as a brand. So that should be exciting. And you know, if we had to put a dollar value on it and on how much it costs, and just so you guys have an idea, it was around like 34,000 US dollars in order to um, create, um, bring this to life, right? So we're gonna do the launch party. I'm gonna be documenting this the entire way through. And not only that, I get to check out Berg's new GT3 RS. That is another thing that's exciting and not to mention as well, um, I will be doing lifting. I still lift, I still lift heavy. I know the previous video that I put up, um, don't get it misconstrued. I will be lifting still for as long as my body allows me to do it for. And if anything, I'm actually um, been regaining some, you know, some ground in terms of strength. I've squatted 260 the other day, 250 again the days after, um, 220 for repetitions, 240 for repetitions. So. Um, I'm actually, you know, getting stronger in um, my technique, my actual execution of the squat. And I hit 300 kilogram deadlift for three as well last week. So stay tuned. I will be putting some lifting videos. Hopefully I'm capable of doing some of that in Hong Kong. Um, but yeah, this is exciting. I'm going to head to the airport now and start flying. It's actually my flight's at 11.45 and it is almost, I believe... Um, eight, so I should get to the airport soon. <laughs> Australia, so lower back's a little bit sore, but I manage. What's on the agenda? Maybe up to 260. Um, that's usually the barometer that I um, go with. Warm up to 260, see how I feel, if I feel comfortable. Move up to 300s. Last big session was 300 for three, so. You look like a high speed individual. Me right now. Huh? Max speed. Max speed, look at the glasses. Ready for some action. This is going to go on the vlog, uh, Michael. It's your vlog. <laughs> it's, it's the Hazard Hunters um, team, pop-up vlog. Team, you. team, team Hazard Hunters.
I managed to hit 290 for a single and 260 for two. Now I'm going to head back to Berg's and uh, we're just going to hang out and I guess uh, chat Hazard Hunters and how the next week is going to pan out. The thing about Berg's place is it's like a brutal uphill climb and my legs are fucking jelly already. I have no carbs. So the nicest like yeah. embellishments on their stuff. Yeah, it's very nice. Like simple but this is That's like nice really, <laughs> not really expensive, but it's pretty expensive. That is, that feels nice. <laughs> I bet the price is also equivalently nice. <laughs> How much is the shirt? I, I'm going to guess nice. like six. That's cool. Probably like 400. What? A shirt? You think no. or more? Less. No, 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 no. There's no, no way. No, the Balenciaga oh. shirts are Yeah, the less, the Casablanca isn't like Balenciaga. It's more expensive than my kids, less expensive than Still pretty expensive. I mean, that's a six X four wedge. It is. I mean, also it's very, very thick. It feels nice. It is thick. Really cool design. Really nice printing. Like feel it. Yeah, it's like a rubber. Mhm. Mm rubber combined with what? What is that? Oh, it's two rubber. A three. Oh, it's just rubber. All, it's all throughout. Triple rubber. And just knits. Oh, yeah. This, I really like this. Is that a shorts? I was like, I can't believe you waited this long to open. How long has this been sitting around? Three weeks. Hmm? Is that all? Oh, that's just a. It's like a direct to garment. Mm -hmm. So but this the, wouldn't have cost them a lot to make at all. But the t shirt quality is nice. The t shirt quality is nice. The wa It's like water. Yeah. It's, it's like an iron on. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, it, I, I feel like it's like what Shane wanted us to do, or it's like the oh, no, it's water not, base. Oh yeah, it, it would still be like um, it would be like a printer that goes mm -hmm. over the top of it. Yeah. Nice t-shirt quality, nice. A bit lighter. We could definitely do this thickness. Yeah, I like I like the thickness. It's good. Right, like it's great for summer, yep. which makes sense because it's their summer spring one. It's like a what a linen type material. Yeah, just I thought the I thought the colors were nice. Mm. That blues in, huh? Well, it seems like there's a lot of blues. Mm. No, you just like blue. I, also, you, I didn't pick it like so. When it's you go one. on their app and you go on their website, it's a nice one. There's not a lot of options in mm. stock because they sell out right away. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's cool hardware. Yeah, this is what I wanted our nylon short to be. Yeah, this, Isn't that nice? It feels premium. Mm -hmm. It feels so nice. This is not the same as ours. <laughs> it's, it doesn't wrinkle. It has more of a weight to it. It has structure. This is technically their athletic short. It's nice. It's, it's fucking nice. Like, it's not... Like, it's marked on their website as their, like, workout, like, athletic short. Yeah. Sweet. Ooh, it's heavy. Like, do you want me to return them? I think these are probably going to be a bit big. I think that's size and volume they get there. I'm like, we waited so long to open this. I don't, I don't oh, think you can return them. How long has it been sitting? A few weeks. Oh. Well, I was going to do content around it, and we've just been sick, so. Oh, here's the content. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? That is nice. I, I really like this design. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's so vintage. They have one for yeah. LA, it feels New York. Nice too. All their material is just like really, really perfect. Really, really nice. The whole point is like good feel. They've got it down. Good for sure. design. Like very simple. Made yeah. In, made cute. in China, designed in New York. Like this comes out of China as well. Like it's not like it's the print possible. Is cool. It's very cool. What's the back like? It's like very iconic. Mm. It's cool. <laughs> I mean, it's not too dissimilar, honestly. Yeah. 
Off-white, I feel like their shirts, it's, it's, whatever. it's only for the design. Yeah. And they do really good designs, do. but they don't do anything like their, I, they, I feel like, shine really with their like designs and silhouettes. Mm. Like they do really cool. Dinner time. I'm ready. I'm good. Absolute love. Yep. Suit up. So yeah, welcome to the bar. So basically, we are <laughs> Your turn. I can't do it with this chest. <laughs> you guys have to act natural. I, I mean, oh, how was the weather today? Oh, so, so warm today. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> well, I've, I've got to be if I'm going to finish tomorrow, right? <laughs> BBC of States. <laughs> Hello. Evening. Evening. All right, so that's dinner done. Back home now. Might do some editing. Um, got some shots of the underground, uh, where or below ground, where we're going to be shooting. Oh, where we're going to be doing the pop up, and. Got some nice dinner. Got a massive steak. I think it was like 500 grams of just beef. Well, that's what steaks usually are. I'm gonna head back in. I'll show you guys the little get up and where all the stock is essentially and the logistics is held at the moment. Oop. I'm gonna wrap up for tonight. And that is day one of As the Hunters in Hong Kong.